Hi everybody, welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Kat Gunn, and today we're going to be going over the new Asus GL series gaming laptops. Here we have the Republic of Gamers GL552 and the GL752 mid-range gaming laptops. The specs are extremely similar, but the main difference being the display size. On the GL552 it's 15.6 inches, and the GL752 being 17.3 inches. Let's take a closer look at inside and see what these gaming laptops have to offer. We'll be focusing on the GL752, so let's jump right in and look at the accessories that come with these two notebooks. You'll find your standard issue user manual, warranty card, a cleaning cloth for the display, and a 10-foot power cable with cable tie. You've got the Asus branding and ROG logo here, which lights up in conjunction with your screen brightness setting. If we open up the laptop, we see the 17.3-inch 1920x1080 display. Above the display, you'll also find a 720p webcam for video conference call or even low-end streaming or YouTube production if you don't have an external camera to use. Below, you'll find the trackpad, which felt responsive enough, but I'll stick with an external mouse for gaming purposes. Of course, you've also got your right and left mouse buttons and notification LEDs. The keyboard has a decent amount of travel for a notebook and offers red LED backlighting with the WASD keys lined with red to make them stand out for gamers. You won't find any preset macro keys here, but to make up for that, the GL752 has higher quality speakers compared to what you'd find in most laptops in this price range. Asus offers its exclusive Sonic Master technology, and buzzwords aside, it actually does seem to provide a decent boost to the audio quality of the notebook. I was pretty surprised by the audio fidelity of the built-in option here. If we flip the laptop around, you can see two screws here, which I'm going to remove so we can take a closer look inside. There are two memory slots and the availability to upgrade your hard drive. On the side, you'll also find an additional slot for an M.2 PCIe SSD, which you can always find here right at Newegg. These days, it would be nice to see the optical drive removable or not included at all to make room for more power or other various upgrades, but as it stands, I can't complain too much. Speaking of power, the GL752 doesn't have the strongest battery life. In my testing, it lasted about two and a half hours on normal usage, and only about an hour once I started playing a video game. Luckily, it comes with a 10-foot power cable, which you'll definitely be putting to good use. Moving over to the sides of the laptop, you'll find the power connector, three inch vent, mini display port, HDMI, ethernet, USB 3.0, and USB 3.1 type C ports on the left. On the right, we have the Kensington lock, the DVD drive, two USB 2.0 ports, and the audio and headphone jacks. Now let's take a look at what's under the hood of the GL752. We've got an Intel Skylake i7 6700 HQ processor, NVIDIA GTX 960M GPU, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 128 gig SSD, and a one terabyte hard drive. If you're gaming on a budget or need something portable, the GL552 or the GL752 should be just fine depending on your display size preference. I played Counter-Strike on the laptop and it ran around 100 frames per second. But if you're playing games that are less graphically intensive like Heroes of the Storm, you could probably run it on very high or ultra settings. But when you play games like Fallout 4, you may want to stick to medium. All in all, I think it was a solid experience for the price and the convenience of this laptop. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. From Newegg TV, I'm Kat Gunn, and we'll catch you next time.